Hi guys, I'm going to show you how I'd like for you to upload YouTube videos for any assignments that we ever do uh, for which I ask you to upload a YouTube video. Um, so I've already logged into YouTube here. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, all you do is go to YouTube.com, click the sign in button. You should use your school email address. It should link with YouTube uh, automatically. That way anything you ever do for school is kind of all linked together. You can always uh, add it to your personal accounts at some other time if you'd like to. Um, okay, so once you've logged on, you're going to click on Upload. Okay, and then it's going to bring you to this uh, window here. Now, for all the videos that I ever ask you to, to post, it's going to be public almost all the time. Uh, unless I specifically ask you to make it private or unlisted, you should always choose public. And then you're just going to click on that little button, and it's going to allow you to upload your video. And I'm just going to choose a sample uh, video from my library here. Let's see, is that in? I think that should work. Okay. Um, and so it's going to start kind of loading your video. And in the meantime, uh, I think it's important for you to, right here is going to be the title of your whatever your video is. So come up with a good creative title uh, that fits the work. Don't just put like, documentary or uh, commercial or whatever come up with an actual title that fits your work and so this one is uh, I'm just going to call this one the incredible uh, anyway uh, I'm just coming up with silly something silly for me uh, and then in the, des the description box this is a place for you to uh, enter a pretty good solid description of what it is that your video contains um, try to use complete sentences and you know write a couple of sentences there describing what's going on. Uh, it doesn't need to be you know an essay. Just a, a couple of sentences are is fine. So I'm just going to put here, Washman um, introduces oops, open house. So you can go on and you could be a little bit more specific, but for our, our purpose, that's good enough. And the tags, this is where you want to uh, come up with some good keywords that are related to your video. So that way when people go search, your video will come up more often. Um, and I think this is a really great idea because you put all this work in, people should see it. Uh, so, uh, well, and for mine, I accidentally chose a video that is not supported, so I'm going to go ahead and go back there. I'm going to pick one. Oh, that's why it's a dot move instead of it should be an MP4. Uh, let's see, is that one an MP4? I think that one is. Let's try that one. There we go. Uh, okay, so here I've already got a title in for it, a description here Mr. Washman, Foxes Students. The blog making process for TV.com. Okay. Again, you could be more specific, but this works just fine for us. Um, tags, uh, one more time. So, like, as I was saying, these are words that are related to your topic so that when people search, they'll find your video. So, I could put blogs, I could put Weebly, I could put Capel High School. Uh, I could I could put several things, and so the more tags you put, the better, uh, because it makes it more likely that your video will come up when people search. So uh, those are the three things on this page that I always want you to do. Um, remember, leave it public, and what you could do over here, if I ever ask you to add it to a particular playlist, which I may do at some point, all you're going to do is click on that add button, type in the name of the playlist I give you, and it'll add it to it automatically. Um, but I would like you now to go to the advanced settings and there are several other buttons here but there are a couple that I want you to pay attention to uh, more than all the others so first of all license and uh, rights ownership this is really important for us because I want you guys to get used to using the Creative Commons licenses so I want you to click the drop down box there and I want you to click on Creative Commons attribution all right and that's going basically that's going to allow your work to be uh, included in the Creative Commons um, which, 
for us is really important because you wouldn't have been able to make your videos if you uh, hadn't had access to the Creative Commons. So we want to make sure that we give people the same attributions um, that uh, that they gave us whenever we borrowed some of their work to make these videos. Um, and so a couple of these other things you could go through and look. Uh, these all don't need to be clicked or, or changed unless you have a specific need. The category is pretty important, so if you feel like your video falls into one of these categories, go ahead and choose it. For me, I'm going to stick with education because that's where this video actually works. Uh, and then I think it's important to go ahead and put the date that you're publishing. So, you know, you could just easily you could just click on today and it would put it up there. Uh, and that's pretty much it. After you've got all these things put in, you're going to go over here, you're going to click on publish, and that's going to finalize it. So if you guys have any questions about how to post your YouTube videos with the correct co uh, Creative Commons licenses, uh, just be sure and email me and let me know. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.